For anybody that has, you know, it has been a year since the finale. Um, can you sort of tell us where we last left Michael? Just at least tell us what, you know, the situation that he was in when we ended season one. Right. Well, the first season of Your Honor, um, it was about a man who compromises his principles in order to save the life of his child. And as a parent myself, I can relate to that. I would do anything to save the life of my child. And then it kind of it gets out of hands. He spirals out of control, becomes or tries to become someone he's really not. And he's a Great very ball. he's a very respected judge. Yeah, Your Honor. In New yeah. Orleans. Yeah, yeah, it's in the, the title. It's your honor. <laughs> and then he realizes all these compromises were for naught because at the end of the series of season one, tragedy strikes and everything he was attempting to do, he failed at. And so um, the season two was not on the cards for me. I, it was only signed to do one season and I don't want to do work if it's just a continuation of something. And so the showrunner, Peter Moffat came to me and said, what if, what would happen to Michael Desiato? If, if this tragedy struck, what would happen to him? Where would he be? And I said, I think he would either be dead from suicide or he's in prison from his crimes. And so he said, interesting. And he came back and he pitched me an idea. And uh, I liked the idea. I augmented it. And together we started to craft what became ultimately season two of Your Honor. Uh, and I'm very, very pleased with it. it. It explores the different side of the coin. So if the first season was about a man losing his soul, losing his principles, the second season is about redemption. It's about, is there life after tragedy? What does that look like? Is, is, is redemption possible? Is forgiveness possible? What happens to people after they've experienced that? And so I was very excited to explore that. And that's basically what it's about. 